everybody, welcome back to an exclusive, exciting, limited run games, physical Nintendo Switch game unboxing. And today we're here for one that should be pretty exciting. I believe it was the 11th release, and we do have the collector's edition. If I'm not mistaken, this should be West of Loathing, which, you know, kind of stick figure Western. I mean, that could be fun. So for those of you who don't know, Limited Run Games is basically a company in the U.S. that puts out limited runs of physical titles, of indie titles that would not really get released physical otherwise. They do it for PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita. They recently did a PlayStation 3 release. And, of course, a year or so ago, they started doing Nintendo Switch. I've been buying every game from them and trying to get the collector's editions when I can. And this was one of the ones I was lucky enough to do so. So it's finally here. I'm excited to open this up. We're going to look through a lot of it. We're going to play the game. I'm going to talk about it while I'm playing it with you guys. Hopefully have a little fun doing voices or something like that. And then we'll come on back, look at a few more things, and just see what we think overall. So... Let's jump right in here, and I do have a link in the description below if you want to check out Limited Run Games, and um, you know, it's not an affiliate link or anything, it's just a link if you want to check them out. But if you want to buy their stuff, you pretty much have to do it fast. They typically do half the batch of any game at 10 a.m. and another half at 6 p.m. usually, and uh, which is really nice for people like me that are not awake at 10 a.m. But let's check this out, and let's get to it, because I got things I got to go do, so all right. Oh yeah. Oh, that card looks interesting too. So, of course, we got some bubble wrap. I'll put that to the side. We got all this. We got that. Move this box out the way because we do not need it anymore. We have our limited run loyalty reward ticket. Don't worry about that number. You have to send in the actual ticket to use it. We, of course, got a limited run collector trading card. This one is a bit silver foiled. I like that. He's got a gun. He's got a beer. That is my kind of cowboy. So, of course, here we go with West, West of Loathing. And we will look around this again uh, more in detail as we want to get the plastic off. Just want to kind of give you a look at it before the plastic comes off. And I'm glad we don't have the J cards anymore. You know, <laughs> those early ones had to have J cards because for whatever reason, Nintendo at the last minute was like, oh, we want our branding. And it's like, well, why didn't you tell us that when we started? But that's good because those J cards are annoying. All right. So, West of Loathing, I've never played this game. I'm definitely looking forward to playing this game. And of course, you can get this digitally on the eShop if you don't worry about a physical copy. But you know me, I like my physical copies because for all intents and purposes, you should be able to pick this game up and play it even years down the line as long as you have a working Switch because 95% of the time, these require no additional downloading or patches or anything. So I'll try to get in here and not destroy the box any more than I have to. And hopefully we get a sweet steel book with this. This is one of the earlier ones where they were pretty much all having steel books, but you never know. Probably a soundtrack, perhaps. Cool. All right, so we got our game, which of course we'll take a better look at in just a minute. Pop the cardboard out of the way. And I believe it's a handkerchief, like a bandana. We get a nice physical CD soundtrack. Oh, we get some interesting stuff in here. No steel book, that's a bummer. Um, we got like cardboard standee here. Let's see, and then how do I get into this without destroying it, the packaging? Hmm. Okay, can I get into this without destroying the packaging? Because it looks like we got a badge and a card. But I don't know, it looks like I have to tear the packaging. That sucks. What kind of design concept is that? Oh, I guess, I, okay, there we go. I can do, okay. Whew, I'm glad I, I thought this through and took my moment. We'll look at all this stuff a little bit closer. Okay, that's actually a really clever packaging design. I'm just glad. So basically what you did, if you didn't see, that's all I did. So if you get this and you don't want to tear open your package, that's how you can do it. But it does look like the cards are packed a little bit tight and a little bit tricky to get around the corners. There we go. So move that to the side. And we get a poster. So no steel book. Bummer. That's my favorite thing about these. All right, so let's take a look at the poster. That's always the hardest part to check out. Oh, Double-sided too. So we get Skull. Skull, yeah. Then on the back, we get, okay, keep calm and enjoy nothing. Not the most interesting artwork on this, but again, I'm sure it kind of relates more to the game and that's pretty nice. So we're gonna set that off to the side. Let's take a look at the standee, which I'm not gonna build yet, but it should be pretty easy. Well, you know what, let's just do it then, why not? So I guess you just, uh, pretty much like that. And then boom. So we got him in cactus disguise. Flatten that back out for now. 
Take a look at our sheriff's badge. This is a nice little addition. As you get kind of a prop replica out of the game, drawn like it should be, I assume. That's really nice. Double back so it's not spinning with the limited run logo embossed. I like that. So these are just trading cards. I guess we should actually open these. Let me uh, find my... Well, we'll open those uh, with the soundtrack after the gameplay. So I'll just show you that just real quick, but we'll look at it more. So let's open the bandana and then we'll look at the game and then we'll get some play in done. Pull that back down. And yeah, just a basic bandana, but of course, you know, it kind of has all the little designs and stuff from the game. Actually, this might actually be a cloth map as well. So that's pretty cool. It's a nice little touch. Cool, uh, how did I, uh-oh. <laughs> was it all that way? I guess it was all that way, okay. And we'll fold. Wait, 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 wait for it, wait for it. There we go, Eric knows how to fold things. Eric folds things well. Never even did that in retail. All right, let's take a look at the game here real quick. See if we get reversible art or not. This was ordered so long ago, I honestly can't remember. Well, this plastic is tighter than usual, there we go. It's a thick plastic. All right, so we get West of Loathing. I do dig that cover. Of course, for whatever reason, Nintendo of America will not let them put numbers on the spine, which is a bummer. Nice minimalist back, but it totally works for this. And of course, this is number 11. Oh, that's right, we got a manual too, which we'll look at after. All right, so uh, is that a reverse? I guess it's kind of a reversible cover if you wanna get the switch art off and you wanna get all the other stuff out. I like the little lines around the cartridge. There is the cartridge. <clears throat> All right, well, here you go. Here's the gameplay. All right, partner. Let's play us some West of Loathing. No download, that's a good sign. Asymmetric. Mm mm mm. It's some mighty fine wine. Mighty fine. Um, okay. That don't bode well. That's a long load screen. Pretty simple control scheme. I like that. What options we got, partner? Dialogue, combat, horse, volume. All right, that all looks good to me. Howdy, partner, let's play us some. Let's see, do I want to be Joe or do I want to be Barth? I guess I got a shooting galley. Let's, let's, let's get cute, let's, oh, what? Oh. Oh, am I supposed to like go up here and shoot that then? Oh, oh look at that, I'm changing through the people. Oh. Let's see, who do I want to be? Leonard Smith? Sylvester Maynard, I like that. That is my name. Play Sylvester Maynard. All right, let's do it, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm most definitely a cow puncher. <laughs> Character class. Oh, this is cool, man. Cow punchers saw their problems with their fists. Whether it's shaking them in a disagreeable fella or disreputable saloon or using them to punch a slightly more disagreeable fella in a slightly less reputable saloon. We've heard the cow punchers are in demand out west since the cows came home, which stands to reason. These cows ain't gonna punch themselves after all. Hell yeah, I wanna be a cow puncher. Oh, look at my room. Oh wow, the graphics are awesome. I love this. No, I ain't turning off my damn phonograph. I ain't gonna read. Reading's for people who don't punch cows. We'll comb my hair though. Comb your hair one last time. Well, maybe I should do some of these things then. Fleeta Smith in the Foreign Cabin. That was one of my favorites. Edwin Smith in the Spooky Castle. That was shit. Trouble at Vulture Warehouse. Eh, Trouble at Black Lighthouse. Now that was ten times better. What happens if I turn off the music? 
Oh, can we turn it back on? Hey, hey, yeah, there we go. What's up, bird? Hey, Russell, how you doing? Go! I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Go, 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 go! Let's feed Russell. I grab a cricket from your cricket bag and feed it to Russell. He coos approvingly and nuzzles your hand. Ain't that sweet? All right, goodbye, Russell. You be good now. You just keep licking your private parts. It's all good. I'm going back to bed. That was a fun game, y'all. <laughs> oh, did I actually say good? Goodbye, bed. Time to head west and chase my real dreams. I'm a cowboy. My living room, huh? All right, I ain't got no nothing yet. Nothing on the hat rack today. What a mess. Let's stack some firewood. There we go. Stove pot, hearth, home, hearth. Woo, oh wow, I like the kind of almost parallax of this. I will miss meals with the family, but I got cows to get punching. That's right, we gotta keep mom's pie safe. We don't need no fellers coming over here and punching her pie. Cow punching's one thing, punching my mom's pie is a whole other bargain. Uh, I probably don't want to know about what kind of books my... I've heard what noises come out of my brother's room. He's about that age, you know, where they're starting to look at the certain kind of books. So, uh, yeah. Let's just not dig around. Oh, we do not want to look at his bed. I tell you what. Hey, yep. Diagrams and charts. Yeah, he uh, had a that big load that day. All right, I did not need to know that, brother. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. ZR is new. We got some stuff here. Man, we got all kinds of stuff. Damn. This is almost more complicated than Red Dead Redemption. Hey, lady. Oh, hey, Mom. I'm leaving, Mom. We're gonna miss you, kiddo. Oh, and before you leave, I got you a present. As long as it ain't your pie, Mom, because, you know, I'm your son, and that's kind of weird. A present? Yep. It's that book you wanted for Crimbo. I know it's early, but... That one about picking locks. Oh, boy. That's the one. Enjoy it. I got an item, locks and how to pick them. Please be careful out there. Write us a letter when you can. She hugs you. I will, mama. Goodbye. And may, may your pie not get punched while I'm gone. Hey, who are you? I have a dad. You know what gets to punch mom's pie. Hey, hat don't fit you, dad. I'll grow into it. Well, it's time for me to leave. L listen, I, I, I want you to have this. It's your, uh, your grandmother's brass knuckles. Thanks, Dad. G g good luck out there, son. You, you be, you be sure to say goodbye to your mother. I did. Goodbye, Dad. Hey, old man in glasses. Oh, that's my brother, my dumb brother Rufus. Maybe he wouldn't need glasses if he were looking at porn all the damn time. I hand him a puzzle. He starts fidgeting with it. Hey, Rufus, it's time for me to head west. I still don't know. Understand why you're leaving. He's got a point, you know. Why are you going west anyways? Well, I gotta get off this stupid farm, Rufus. You know how much I hate it here. I can't stay. I gotta go where the action is. But it's so dangerous. 60% of the people who go, go west get killed within a year. And that statistic is, is from before the cows came home. Oh, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. You worry about taking care of mom and dad, all right? I'll worry about me. Okay, if you say so, big brother, I still think you'll be dead by Crimbo. Well, try not to jerk yourself blind there, Rufus. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of loving this game. Oh, wait. Ooh, what? It's a haystack. Of course I'm going to dig through it. I found a needle. I found a needle in a haystack. Can you believe that shit right there? Tell you what, I don't care who you are. It's funny right there. Hell yeah, let's go west. This is awesome. This is as good as I would hope it had been. And I mean, I've barely gotten into it. I love this design style. I love the humor. <laughs> Film editor. <laughs> the design is really cool. Dialect coach. All right, yeah, these are some fun fake ass credits. Stunt coordinator. <laughs> Ow, I hit myself in the head with a rock. I'm a bad cowboy. I'm a cowboy. Shut up, my met. Boom operator, Ryan E.K. Two hundred miles later. Jesus. <laughs> BS4. 
Dirt water still 300 Michigans away. Uh oh. Well, the bad news is that you fell off that cart and got knocked out for a couple of hours. And now you got no ride, no meat, no prospects. The good news is that you're in a town rather than a gulch somewhere. Not much of a town, though. The town of Boring Springs. Hey, drunk man, give me your whiskey. Uh, hey, buddy, where's the hig bar? I don't know, but uh, can I, 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 never mind. Buffalo gals won't stop. Uh, I guess I go, to, I go to BS Horsery. Gone drinking. Is that you? You the owner of the BS Horsery? Is that a cow pie? Yuck. Oh, ow. Let's go salooning. Hey, Mr. The bar's over here. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves you to get your attention. Hey, where's your hat, dang nimbit? Well, I, uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. Tank proper. He points to the take a hat and leave a hat box next to the door. You look through the hat box and find a sturdy looking Stetson. Looks like something you'd wear. Hell yeah, we gonna grab it. Thanks, sir. Uh, it's Pete. Uh, thanks, Pete. Say, feller. Yeah? You heading west? If you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along and just let me know. Well, er, um, well, no, I'm in no pressure now. All right, I'll keep that in mind. All right, where's the, there I got me a hat. I wonder, can I get me some other hats? Well, I would look super spiffy if I had two hats. That's what the hell I'd do. It's a spittoon. People spit into it. You know, without even looking, it's an absolutely disgusting. Oh, we totally gonna look in that. Yeah, it's full spit, regular spit, gross tobacco spit, chewing gum spit, and it looks like a few teeth as well. That's about all there is to know about spit. It's disgusting, and the smell, even from a distance, yet yeah, it smells horrible. Look closer. You are now on your hands and knees, peering into a filled and crusted spittoon. I don't, I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is, it, is there something shining at the bottom? Oh, hell yeah, we gonna get it. You reach your hand to the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like the vomit through a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. Never give up. Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. It makes a sound like whoop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. I'm, I'm going for this. Your fingers make contact with something. You pull your hand out the devil's tureen slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring. Probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You've got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray! Hey, buddy. 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 Hey, buddy. Pal. Buddy. Buddy guy. Buddy. Buddy. I'm going to take your beer. No, I'm not. They ain't going to let me take your beer. All right, we got some poker. I ain't gonna play, I ain't got no meat. Except for the meat between my legs. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I'll say all kinds of things. For instance, dang nabbit, there's a scorpion in the saddlebag. Uh-huh. See you later, Pete. You walk up to the bar, wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading for reward for lost mugs, 25 meat each. Bartender finally knows you. Well, howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. My name's Sylvester. What brings you to our little backwater? Oh, the usual. I came out west to make my fortune. Not having much luck so far, though. Oh, any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Boring Springs already has more people in it than jobs. It's more of an errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend talking to the railroad people up by dirt water. You mentioned errands. A wink, a wink. Yeah, this uh, Forsaken Berg is always falling apart in one way or another. The holster's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that no account sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke in the gulch didn't wipe his boot off and got spores everywhere. Hell yeah, I could probably handle a goblin, because I'm a cowboy. Much obliged, I'll unlock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You gave me a weak fungicide, I'll take care of it. All right, let's do this so I can wrap this up, because I got more I gotta do. You think that's the basement door? That's gotta be the basement door. 
<laughs> All right, let's see what happens. Oh, look at how those shadows work. That is, that is really cool. Hell yeah, I'm gonna grab a bottle. <laughs> Legal drinking age here is can reach the top of the bar. Oh, look, he's just kind of playing with it. That's cool. Um, can I do anything but attack him? I guess we just want to attack him. Oh, we got to fight. We got to fight. Got him. Jump on him. Okay, um, I have one action point. Hey, that was easy. Victory for the cowboy. Press A to continue. Having dispatched the goblin, you patch your... Having dispatched the goblin, you pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You gain three XP. Yeehaw! Skill up, muscle level two. Dudes, this game is awesome. But I have recorded too much, and I gotta do one more game tonight, so, and it's already 10 after 1 in the morning. Cool beans! All right, so hopefully that was fun. Hopefully I've enjoyed it. Now let's take a quick look through this book because I do like this. So we're gonna get a lot of concept art in here. I have a really good feeling about this. I love that the concept art is real high end and then the final art. I don't know if that if that was real or if that's just a joke, but that's awesome. Maybe the story of this is they really wanted to get this thing made and they couldn't afford to. So like, screw it, we'll just do it with stick figures. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. Well, I guess you've seen me having fun with it already. Goblin Mayor, all right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Granny Smith, how do you like them apples? Drunk horse, I hope that's my horse. Nice, and so no instructions or anything, just this awesome joke of concept art, which I really appreciate, so that's really nice. Now let's actually see if we can get into these poker cards, because I want to see if they have art on uh, all the faces. You know what I mean, um, the backs, I mean, like, is there, well, I guess you couldn't do individual art that would kind of defeat the purpose, but maybe there's some joke to this, so I want to kind of skim through some. Obviously, we probably are not looking at all 52 cards here. Oh, I guess I should uh, carefully do this. So, you know, just so you can get a better look at the art. Make sure we get a good look at all that. And bring out the deck. So yeah, as, as you would expect, <laughs> Trice, it's a unicycle. That's great, instead of bicycle cards, which is like the very famous common brand. And yes, cool, so the Joker is drawn that way. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. All right, Ace has a little gun in it. I like that even the cards are a little bit hand drawn here. So, okay, you do get cool characters on the Jack, the King, Queen, King. And then uh, we got, I guess they're kind of black and white. Well, no, these would still be black and white. Yes, we are getting different characters, so that's really cool. Actually, I'm quite glad I opened these. Hmm, that's out of order. That's all right. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, they, spades, diamonds. Yeah, the diamonds should have been black and white. That's right, so they should have been red, I mean, but that's all right. I guess they're gonna save a few bucks here or there. And uh, yeah, but at least they were nice enough to print different art on all of those, so uh, that's really cool. And we get a couple more Jokers. It's just two doubles of those Jokers, so that is awesome. And then last but not least, the soundtrack, which once you get the plastic off, we'll definitely take a better look at. This is also one of my favorite things for ordering these uh, collector's editions, because I really love scores and soundtracks to all types of things. Here we go, here's an N, well maybe. There we go, all right. Plastic Surgeon. <laughs> a new career. I like that they have the old gramophone there as well. That's pretty cool. Lots of good tracks on there. 20. And no art on the booklet. The CD art is very, very nice. All right. Well, there you guys have it. Guys and gals and everybody in between. Let's see if we can build us a nice little um, thumbnail photo here. Because, <laughs> you know, that's half the fun. Let's try to get some nice imagery out. That's good. Put that sheriff's badge right there. Flap that up in there. Bring the box down. But yeah, so what do you guys think of this game? Are you excited about it? Is it cool? Are you enjoying it like I am? Or hopefully am? I'm imagining I'm enjoying it. Can't imagine I didn't enjoy this. The art, the concept, everything else about this is fantastic. So I'm a happy camper. And uh, but let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. Let me hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these kind of things. So uh, other than that, you can give me the thumbs up button, give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. 
And I guess now I'm gonna get out of here so I can go open up some more stuff and play some more games, and I'll see you all later. Mm -hmm.